We see Jesus zeroing in on the hypocrisy of those who give loudly, if you will. But before we get there, I want to I wanna start with a, a couple of important pieces that we need to know. First of all, Jesus expects that we give to the needy. He doesn't say if you give to the needy. He says when you give to the needy. We have to understand that as God's people, we are to freely give what we have received. That we are to care for the needs of others. That that is, that is can be our base uh, kind of operating model, right? Is that we would be paying attention to those around us and we'd be seeking to serve them. I think we are, uh, uh, Jesus drives this point home later in Matthew in in chapter 25 in verse 40. Of course, we know this as uh, uh, the the least of these passage. You have that passage, I think, in there? There it is, sweet. And the king will answer to them, truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. Of course, those who are hungry, those who are thirsty, right? Those who are naked, those who are in prison, those who are sick, we are to go and to care for their needs. And though when we do that, we are serving not just them, we are serving God. This is the natural uh, condition of a Christian's heart, is to be generous with what we have received and to give to the needy. Giving to the needy certainly includes the homeless and the poor. And I want to encourage us this morning, while this message is not specifically going to be really diving into the giving aspect, I want to make sure we don't miss this piece, that we need to be generous and we need to give. And give to the poor and the needy that are all around us. 